Hello everyone. So, we are going bank fishing today. And uh, I'm going to use this guy right here. It's pretty much the whole point of going. This is the uh, Fish Head Primal Vibe. Um, fairly new bait. I think I heard about it like a year ago. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But And I uh, bought a couple when they first came out. Like when I first heard about them. And, um, yeah, have never thrown it. So, I figured I'm going to give it a shot, and that'll pretty much be it. Let's go and try to catch some on that bait. And then afterwards, I'll uh, do a little outro and give my opinions on it, and uh, tips and whatever that I come up with, and all that stuff. So, be sure to watch the whole video. Alright? Alright, I'll see you guys on the water. Alright, finally here. I showed up, drove all the way out here, walked down here, and realized I forgot a SD card in my camera. So, had to run to Walmart. But, we're good to go now. Let's try this thing. Damn it. Freaking hurt my arm. Holy crap. Good one. Yes. Oh, girl. Oh, 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 oh. Yes. That's over four. Whew. Oh, that's at least four there. Whew. Yes. Alright, well, 
now how to get you back, dude. Yes. Whew. That might even be five. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's four or something. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's real shallow right there. I didn't even notice it. What the hell? Some Blair Witch going on. Got him. That's another good one. Ooh, Jesus. Yes. Whew. Another good one right there. Not as big as the first one, but not too bad. There we go. The tail's like bloody it looks like. He's got bumps on it. Lipstick. There we go. Whew. Thanks buddy. There we go, there we go, there we go. Pretty good one. Three pounder. Sorry dude. <laughs> All right, so not a spectacular couple of hours, but not bad. Um, caught a couple good ones. First one was really nice, four plus, and second one maybe three pounds. So yeah, it's good. I'll take it. Um, and the main purpose going out there was to try this and this is that fish head primal vibe bladed jig and so a couple little thoughts on this the action on this thing is awesome um it's 
got a really hard thump on it. Like, kind of, I mean, it's like a chatterbait or other bladed jigs, you know. The action's kind of similar, but this actually has a harder thump than, you know, your typical Z-Man chatterbait. Um, it really, like, thump, 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 like, it's got good, hard thump to it. So, a little bit different of an action. It's pretty sweet. Obviously, it's got tons of flash with that fish head spin on the bottom and with the silver blade. Personally, I like silver blades. Um, I fish all types of uh, bladed jigs and chatterbaits uh, for sure. Like, I've fished all of them. But I still like the original Z-Man chatterbait because of the silver blade on them. I don't know. I, it's just, I like that flash. I think it gets more bites. I don't know. But I fish ones with colored blades. I even bought some of the new Z-Man jackhammers in the clear blade. I'll be making a video on that pretty soon. Um, but, you know, it's all kind of different. I use them differently. Sometimes there's really no rhyme or reason. Usually dirtier water than I like that flash of that blade but sometimes even in gin clear water i don't know i still like the flash of that blade quite a bit so i like the flash on this thing it's got lots of flash you can see it <laughs> flashing in the water it's pretty cool um it actually surprisingly comes through the grass pretty well now there wasn't a ton of grass there grass was starting to grow and in that nasty film that green slime you know but there were also like sparse parts of grass that was freshly grown grass and it comes through it actually really nice it doesn't get hung up but as you can see on the way that head is see how it's a pointed sort of head and then there's your, your little keeper or your yeah your little loop for your blade it will pick up the grass right there like really good it goes through it really good you don't get hung up which is nice but it will pick up that grass it just like rips it out so be prepared to clean it like after every cast <laughs> but i mean that's it's pretty cool um the action also on this thing with that flat head it's more like side to side with the whole bait you know like a a regular chatterbait with a regular jig head on it or other bladed jigs with like just a regular jig head on it you know the blade the blade obviously is twitching side to side but that bait necessarily doesn't really get side to side it more just kind of sits there on the bottom and then if you, your trailer will kind of pump in the water but this whole thing like completely side to side so the action is different on it similar but different um obviously let's see did i miss anything oh also with this the uh, fish head spin and the blade and everything sometimes it'll want a helicopter when you're casting so it doesn't cast as good as like a chatterbait or whatever that you can just bomb those things and they don't really want a helicopter like that but this one just kind of wants to helicopter sometimes i mean it still casts good but sometimes in the wind it'll start a helicopter and then kind of screw up your cast a little bit not get as much distance on there so that's just kind of something but now also you can see right there this is normally like straight um i didn't grab i have one that's completely clean that i haven't used yet but you can see that head right there kind of you can see it's all wore down and starting to get a divot in there so that means that blade is smacking on that head um which can be a good thing i mean that's the big deal why people love those new z-man jackhammers uh because that blade the way that head's made it smacks the blade smacks that head of that blade and gives it kind of more erratic action and also makes some sound there um people swear by it so that's kind of interesting it smacks that head i you can tell where it's all dug in there i noticed and also the eyes all kind of scratched up so that's from the blade hitting that head 
I mean, nothing major on it. I like the different action on it. I think it'll be good. Um, give them something different. Uh, this is my trailer. Uh, the Crazy Beaver from RedbeardBassAndBaits.com. Go check them out. But uh, that's what I was using as a trailer on it. Um, you can use whatever your standard trailer is. Those things seem to work good with that bait moving side to side it had really nice action on it so but anyway now a tip for any bladed jig um other than chatterbaits uh but bladed jigs by other companies and all that they always come with a straight blade um this blade is just it's just completely straight so my tip is always always Take a pair of pliers and bend the top of that blade like that. It doesn't have to be crazy. That's about how I do it every time. Just take pliers right on the end. Just bend up that little end piece so you got that little hook in there. And what that's going to do is that it's going to keep that bait down. Um, it kind of makes like a bill of a crankbait, you know. I'll get it down, keep it down. Because, i said this all the time. Chatterbaits, bladed jigs, they're meant to be fished on the bottom. Um, so that keeps that blade down. Also, it gives it better action. A lot of times, those straight blades, they just don't want to catch the water right. And the action's kind of mellow. Um, which, if I'm fishing a bladed jig, I want that crazy action of that blade. So I always do that on any bladed jig that comes with a straight uh, blade on it I always just bend it up so there's my tip is just bend that sucker up like that all right so that's pretty much it uh, this is like I said the fish head primal vibe and it is pretty cool um, I'm gonna use it it'll go in my bladed jig arsenal and be something different a little bit different of a action to it different look so um, that's pretty much it. Just figured I'd talk about that. And, uh, yeah. Caught a couple fish, so we're cool. And I'll see you guys on the next one.